You can now add and manage products, accept payments, and generate revenue directly in MailerLite, making it way easier to turn your passion into income. Let's take a look. If you've used MailerLite before, you might already know you could sell digital products to their e-commerce and Stripe integrations. But with this new feature, you can now create products right inside your MailerLite dashboard. No extra tools needed. You can host images, PDFs, and EPUBs, or link to any external URL. You'll also get a shareable checkout link for social media or blogs, and product delivery is automated with a ready-to-go confirmation email. Let's walk through the setup together so you can start selling today. So here I am logged into my MailerLite test account. We're looking at the dashboard. You can see I've already sent a campaign with our product test. And the first thing you should do is connect your Stripe account to your MailerLite account. And to do that, you go over to integrations here from the tab and then scroll down here until you see Stripe. Here it is right here. Click on use. And then you want to follow the setup directions that we've got here. And then down the bottom here, you just want to make sure that your status, that it is connected. In other words, you'll see a disconnect here which is what I have. So once your Stripe and MailerLite are integrated, then you're good to go to start creating some digital products. All right, let's go over to digital products, which is right here on the left-hand side. Actually, it's just products, not digital. We're creating a digital product. So uh, you can see here, I've got one already done as I've been testing this out for uh, the last day or so. So we wanna click on create product here and you wanna upload an image associated with your pr digital product. And I'm just gonna select a, something here. We'll select this one right here. And then you wanna give it a name and we'll just put in something fun called the Acme Survival Guide for Coyotes Chasing Roadrunners. And uh, because I'm boring and I don't wanna take up too much of your time, I will just put in test for our description, but you could put in a very lengthy description here. I don't think that there is a limit so you can add in feedback, customer testimonials, whatever you need to add in to communicate how valuable your digital product is to your customer. And for the price, we're gonna keep it to USD, but you do have several other choices to choose from, including all, which is very interesting. Then under the product price, let's just put in a dollar. And then for the ad discount, that is an immediate thing that a person sees. So let's say you're doing a, you know, a seven day discount on the product, you can just turn that on and then you have the option to either give it a percentage off or a flat rate off, a flat discount off. So we'll put in 20%, so our discounted price is now 80 cents. And by the way, over on the right-hand side, you'll see what it's gonna look like to the end user. Then we get into the important part, right? How are we gonna get this our digital product delivered? So you can attach a file or you can grab an external URL. I've tested them both and they both work fine. So I've used Google Drive and I've used uh, the file manager right inside MailerLite. So let's click on attach file since I've already got that set up. So we'll click on attach file. You can upload PDF, JPEG, and, P and PNG or a zip file. I have yet to successfully import or upload a zip file. Let me know in the comments below if you are successful in that endeavor because I have not been. Uh, so let's go to the upload button here and that will take you over to File Manager. Under File Manager, you click on the Upload File, Upload button over here on the right-hand side to upload the product or, or files that will be associated with your digital product. So I've got this one right here. I've already uploaded this PDF, so I'm gonna click Select, but you can see that I can select more than one file as part of this digital product. So now that our file is attached, your action after checkout option is to add to a group, remove for a group, or update a custom field that you have associated with your audience list. We're gonna keep it with add to a group, and in our selection option here, we're just gonna select a digital marketing report. I think that's fine. And then we're just gonna click continue at this point. Right, so let's scroll back up. Now you have two checkout types. You can do the default checkout, which I think I prefer, or the Stripe checkout. Now, if you do the Stripe checkout, it's just like it was working with the with the other options that you can do in MailerLite. It will take you over to Stripe to check out. Or you can have the incomplete checkout experience inside MailerLite, and there's an actual bonus to that, which I will show a little bit later in the video. 
So I like the default checkout. It doesn't take the user out of the page they're visiting. They do everything within MailerLite, which I really like. So you can upload a logo to your checkout page. So we'll just select my logo here. I think it's on page two. Here it is right here. We'll select that one. And then you can change the title. We'll keep it order summary. Pay now is the purchase button. I guess that's okay, but you can certainly change that if you'd like. And then you can style your checkout page. Now you can add in additional fields if you want those captured by your customer. So you can add in uh, other fields associated in your list, your subscriber list. So you could add in country, city, phone, state, but the, all of that is not necessary. Uh, email and card number is just fine. Now you have additional options here. You can add in an opt-in so customers can subscribe to your email list. Now remember, this is a transaction, not necessarily signing up for a newsletter. So I would recommend that you turn that on and then you can select the subscriber group. So we're, they're already getting added to the digital marketing report. Let's pretend that that's what they're buying. So we can add them to our welcome or warm leads or we could add them to other another group if we so choose, let's select uh, this one, this generic LarrySnow.me, and you can change the messaging here. So it just doesn't say I agree to receive updates and promotional content. You could say, hey, would you like to subscribe to the newsletter? You change all that there too. You have additional options here to require terms of acceptance. You could turn that on. So they there are there's a terms of service that this person would have to agree to, and you put in the link right there. Then you have enable tax ID collection. So this is probably important for more European type of thing. So your VATs, that type of thing. And you can enable more payment options, which is really cool. So you could turn that on and then you'd have to use your Stripes dashboard to manage other payment methods if you did choose to do that. So we'll just turn that off for now. We've got everything set up for our checkout page. Let's click on continue. And our product is now active and ready to be added to our distribution system. Now, what distribution are we talking about here? Well, you can add in these products to MailerLite campaigns, MailerLite websites, and MailerLite landing pages. And the bonus here is that you can share this link directly in social media or websites or wherever. If I go into overview here, You'll see here that we've got a special little checkout feature here because we've created the checkout option in MailerLite, not Stripe. So that's the extra bonus that you get by doing so. So if we click on copy here, open up a new uh, browser page here, hit enter. We're now gonna see our checkout page right inside the browser, right through MailerLite. How cool is that? So we just have to put in our email address and our card number and we're good to go. Now, if you're not ready for prime time for your product, you under the overview tab, you can uh, turn that off as well. And you can go back to the checkout page and make any edits as you need. So here's the edit checkout. And here is the order confirmation page that we didn't see when we were setting this up. So under order confirmation, you can edit this. So you, this is the message that a person receives in the browser after they've paid. So that's what it's gonna look like right there. Now back on the products page, you'll see here that we have orders and we have emails. So that's important to take a look at as well. So if you look under orders page, you'll see that we've had some, my testing go through uh, on my previous product that I set up. You've got uh, reporting here. So you've got how much money you've made, how many products have been sold, when they've been sold, who they've been sold to, that type of thing. And then under emails, you have a confirmation email. So in addition to the customer seeing the confirmation page at the end with the download button on the browser, they also get an email automatically sent to them uh, right in their email box. And you can edit this as you see fit. And it'll just, and you can edit the language here as well, as well as what it says for the button. So instead of download, you can call it something else and you can put in other information as you need. So that is also a neat feature that you get directly with integrating in MailerLite. So let's go ahead and add our product to a campaign. So under campaigns, you'll see I've got a campaign right here and we'll just open that up. We'll click on edit. 
and click on edit content. And if we scroll down here, we'll see that I've added it right here. And let me show you how I've been able to add it in because it is a little nuanced. So we have a new thing here called e-commerce. Now you would think because we're only gonna add in one product that we just slide over this one product layout and we'll just plop it in our email, except we're not. what we're not seeing is how to select the product to show in our product uh, block. So I was not successful in using that option. I was not, then I said, well, let me try this one. So let me drag this one over. So this is a different layout. And again, there is no option here to select a product. So I said, all right, let me use the double one. So I've added in the double one, same thing. There's no option to select a product. So what I ended up doing is selecting the three product option, putting that in our email, then clicking inside, and now you'll see add products. So if we click on add products from your store, you have uh, several choices to choose from. Now, if you've connected WooCommerce like I have, you'll have that available. And then we'll have the MailerLite options that uh, we've set up. So we've got two products in there now. And if you've used Stripe before setting up products through MailerLite, you'll have that option as well. So if you uh, click on MailerLite here, that's our option. You'll see we have our two options. Let's select our new product and click insert and we'll see it comes in very nice and it has a nice little outline here of the 20% off, which is really cool. And with the shop now button. Now, if I click in here, I can then go and edit this, add in the price or uh, remove the old price, uh, remove the discount badge. I can change the style, currency format, things like that. And then you can just click on save here and then click on done editing, or then you can preview and test the email. So if you've got a guide, a checklist or ebook, you can now turn it into a digital product and start selling today right from MailerLite. If this helped you out, feel free to use the affiliate link below in the description. It costs you nothing extra and helps support the channel. And I'm curious, what kind of digital product would you sell first? Drop it in the comments below and I might even feature a few in an upcoming video.